Hello everyone. Uh, today I would like to show you a very good way to transport data without losing the column names. First, we need to import the data. This is the data we're going to use today. And this data is now imported as a tuple. But to transport data without losing column names, we need to use a data frame format. So we need to convert the tuple format into the data frame format. I just run this code. And now the data in the form of tuple is converted into the form of data frame. To transpose the data, we need to use a dplyde package. T is a function used to convert the row name into the column names. So we just run this code. And you can see now the row is converted into the column and the column is converted into the row. However, the data frame is now is converted into the matrix type. So we need to convert the matrix into the data frame. We use the function data.frame and we just run this code. Now it is a, a data frame, but we have the problem here. The column names now is not the row name as the original. The thing is we want to have uh, this one become the column name. How we will solve this problem? Actually first we need to remove this one and then we set this one as a column name. Uh, for example here we just run this code to remove the first column before we uh, perform transpose. You can see now, now we already remove the first row as normal. So in this code, we will use set names and we use data.frame and we remove the first column before we transpose and then we set the column name as the first column. So we run this code and we see. As you can see now, you have a data frame and in this data frame, the row name is converted into the column name. And in this data frame, the row name is set as the column name. So this is what we want. Uh, however, in this case, the column name is converted into the row name. But this one actually is a variable. So we want to have a variable like this. So how we do that? So in this case, we use uh, this code that is similar to a previous code. And then we use mutate to create a variable genotype that equal row names. And this one is a data frame we created above. Now we just run this code and we see. As you can see now, we, we already created a variable genotype. And this one is put as the last column. If you want to put this variable uh, at a different uh, location, you can do that. For example, if you want to put the vari this variable after the row name, you just use the code dot before f0, and you can see here, f0 just after the row name. So we just run this code and we see. As you can see now, it's a variable genotype now is placed after the row name. That is all I want to show you today. I hope the video is useful for you. Thank you for watching.